How's it going boys? And 3.5%. Today we are finally returning to Explorer. The format of dreams, the format of possibilities, where no star is unreachable. And we're doing it with elves. Yeah, I know, that's kind of shooting yourself in the foot on a theoretical level. But I want to see what's happening in S tier. And elves... I kind of figured they're gonna be S tier, especially after the Leaf Crown Visionary was added and the Pyrexian Worm. The Pyrexian Worm, aka the Filer figure, just is begging, begging to be placed in an elf deck, so I did. And, well, spoiler alert, this is gonna be pretty powerful. I can already tell that this is one of those bullshit S tier decks. Standard is completely unviable to play anymore. It's absolutely boring. The only thing that matters in the format is just who can fit in uh, more invoke the spares and cast them faster and, you know, thus win. Or, you know, which aggro they goes first. But currently in Explorer, well, it's still like kind of go first in the game. But hey, at least it's a little bit different. You know what I mean? We can make some mean decks. We can make some fun things. But speaking about fun things, this is an extremely powerful thing. As you know, elves work extremely easily because elves have one or one of two things that they do. They either give mana or they buff other elves and usually do something else along the lines. For example, uh, this elf creates elves, this elf can search out other elvish canceller mommies, please step on me, I have been a naughty naughty boy and I filed my report wrongly, and elfish crown visionary draws cards. By the way, this card is amazing, because elves were missing for a very long time something like this, exactly something like this, could, that could draw you cards in the early game. You know, then you don't have to use so, so many Beast Whispers and the Great Hinges. Admittedly, I'm still going kind of hot in them, oh, but that's fine. And then you have things like Marvin and Circle of Dreams do it. Absolutely amazing. An uh, interesting thing is also we have 21 lands, 2.9 average, and this is where you want to be. If you add one more hinge or remove one card to add a hinge, you're going to be th on 3.1 or 3.0. The moment you are at 3.0 or above, 21 lands, at least for this build, no longer work. Our opening hands are going to so, so, so often be one land and we're completely boned. Currently, it's two to three lands, one rare, uh, one lands obviously occur, but way, way, way less than you would think. And when they occur, that just means that we have too high of a win rate and we need to lose anyway. Oh yeah, this is absolute devastation. This is elves at its finest. And by the way, if you want to do something... Why do I have this filtered? If you want to do something, uh, something pretty neat... Because that's honestly the only thing that can kind of stop you. Use a heroic intervention instead of the filers of figure or figure something out. As long as you don't exceed the mana points. Heroic intervention is going to help you because a lot of people try and use rats. And they sometimes work, okay? So, you know, that's something you can do. But anyway, elves... A really, really powerful, and I think this is a good deck to start off our experiences and explore it and see what kind of absolute shabazzles we can accomplish in our lives. Anyway, with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a cracking and see what happens. Pretty decent start! We go first with a mommy and granny. Not a bad start, not gonna lie, boys. Well, as long as you go first, it's always kind of good in the hood. And we have a lot of options because of it. I like it. I do do really like it. Four lands. Four lands are not that bad at all. Considering we can drop a land of war elf. Use him to top tap a land to make into a 3-3. And then Henge actually becomes a little bit more... Well, not more, but less spicy. Ah, uh, self mill deck that, yes... We are, by the way, 100% in the S tier rankings of deck making. Uh, historic formats have always had this thing where they are going to be very, very, very extreme in the way that they do matchmaking. If you're playing an S tier deck, you know, elves, goblins, or whatever cadaver, you're usually going to be also playing against a a other S tier decks. They're not just going to magically <laughs> put you up against complete garbage. So that, that has been an always interesting thing. Wait, if I do this and turn it into a land that's 3, this costs 
five? No, that's next turn, but next turn doesn't honestly matter because I am incub pumping incubation grandma with the adapt. Which is gonna be good times, considering our opponent's probably not gonna do anything. And then, boys. Oh! Oh, Polacranos! Now we're talking, boys. Now we're talking. Ah, oh, what a lovely time. What a lovely face. Oh, yeah. Incubation grandma is, by the way, absolutely great. Oh, that's big. Oh, that is just huge. No, wait, no, not even big. Absolute, uh, uh, please, creature. Oh my god, we actually got a creature. That is so disgusting. Another one, another one. Well, I'm gonna draw two cards, so it should technically be fine no matter what happens, right? I can't really do anything with this, but as you can see, this is elves. This is the escalation. And if we get a defile or a figure, it's just like, oh wow. And... The hell were you again? At the beginning, if you the creature dies this turn, draw a card. Okay, uh, cute, I guess. Bruh, I'm not gonna do anything there. Uh, sh sh relax, my boy. Uh, gonna drop this. By the way, we can use her to get things out. It doesn't even matter that. Ooh, big. Ah, uh, that's bigly. That is absolutely huge, man. We can draw so much here. It's not even funny. Ah, uh, good times. Good times, boys. Do you think he's gonna rat us? Because currently I'm not actually going for the smart plays. I'm, I'm just going for the it's time to giga chat the top boys plays, you know? I'm actually gonna draw those extra cards. I really want my defiler of vigor. Eh, not happening though. A little bit sad, but I guess it's not happening. Anyway, so many... <laughs> Ah, uh, it feels like historic, right? <laughs> it just feels like historic. Um, admittedly, I will say this. Currently, the elves don't just have... There's no real haste mechanic. The only haste mechanic is... Uh, the the X pay X to green cost savagery or whatever. If you, if you pay 10, uh, you can make everything you have on the field gets haste. Uh, admittedly, that's pretty good, obviously. Obviously, an extremely strong card. Very... There we go. There we go. <clears throat> now, now I can just... Oh my god, boys, you, you just... Man, I'm not gonna lie. I could have won... Uh, I could have won previously, but... Man... Boys, boy, boys, you know, you know how it is, right? You you you, under, you understand what's what's happening, how how life is, you know. You you sometimes you just gotta flex that 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 dick muscle, you know. You, you just gotta use that uh, God-given uh, Snickers dick vein that you have between your legs, you know. And there's and there's no better way to do it than uh, this, because I think this proves a point. Oh, Marvin, nice. Oh, he just... Come on, dude! Alright, alright, alright. I can hear you. I'm not gonna flex that hard next time. Well, this time. We have one land and we're going second. And this is what I said at the start of the video may happen. Uh, that these are usually red. Red. Blue, it's gonna be blue and red. 100%. Or maybe this is mill. That can also be a possibility, but nah, nah, nah. By the way, how do I know this? Because your boy's a living legend. I understand things, you know? I, I see the future to to a certain degree, and you should know this. Also, you should know that, that you can get my abilities by subscribing, liking, and leaving a comment. And by the way, leave in the comments, what should I do next? Like... Is there some kind of build that you want me to try? Is there, you know, wh wh whatever... Seriously, I'm gonna get this dismantled here. Land. We, we draw land, by the way, here. Probably. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, we didn't draw land. Wow, Wizards just wants us to lose hard here. Uh, but again, everything's gonna be a 50% win ratio if uh, Wizards wants that. Jesus Christ, that Edward and a lucky clover. In a bony boy, by I have one land. Like, Wizards, please. You, you can't make this a lot more obvious, I mean. You know, you, you can technically try, I guess, but man, that's not just... Everyone knows what's happening here. But I should draw a second land. Jesus! 
What's the percentile chance of this happening? So, seven cots, one land. I, I, I don't even know, but uh, having one land, 11 draws in, is probably on the 0, 0.0 something scale of probabilities. So, you know, this is how good the deck is. Wizards is absolutely... Like, look at this guy. I mean, this guy has the utmost perfect hand opener combo anything you have seen. He has the Edward into the Lucky Crowlover into the double removal into the ramp. You cannot get a more proactively Bono than this when it comes uh, when it comes to uh, into the story decks. Well, no, not into the story, but adventure decks, I guess. And I got one lamb, boys. <laughs> and by the way, it's probably gonna ge get Bone Crush gianted uh, the moment we uh, get a second land and drop anything. I I think we should be drawing. Oh my! This is insanity. But anyway, you know what I have been thinking? Why even have Explorer? I want I want a format where Wizards just goes, Ah, yes, look at this deck. It currently has a 60% win ratio. You know, like, is it Phoenixes or some garbage like that? And the moment it just happens like that, Wizards just does not even wait. They instantaneously bing clip that shit down to size, you know? Oh, is it Phoenixes are winning? Well, now we're literally banning every Phoenix card instantaneously. Not even a question. I want the fo- 13 cards, 13 draws, 1 land. I think this is a record. I think, I think this is a world record, boys. I think this is a world record. This is amazing. Please do not spank me. Please, please do not kill me. I want to draw the next guy. I want, I want four. I, I want to be the world record owner and never drawing lands. I want, I want to be the poster child of how Wizards treats you when you're da the danger zone. No, don't, no, no, lame. Maybe this was a bot. Who knows? <laughs> Funny though. Two lands, a bunch of creatures, a bunch of overpowered things. Wait, how much mana is this? Two. Three, five, seven? Seven mana with a two. Okay, we can cast Great Hinge on turn five with this combo. Oh no, I didn't actually calculate the L. No, wait, no, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Because that's just a reduction of one and I did the calculation. Okay, so we can cast with currently with this hand a Great Hinge on turn five if nothing changes. Not ideal, by the way. Opponent goes first again. Admittedly, in historic formats, I kind of don't like the idea that... Man, if you have not been following, then currently, if we ignore one video where I literally went first 100% uh, of the time we played, which was extremely odd, not gonna lie, then currently we're roughly sitting at a go first one out of three games at best. And that's not good if you're playing historic formats. Because the biggest impactor on your win ratio in historic formats is not the opponent, is not the hand, it's not anything. Well, it is the hand, obviously, also. But one of the biggest, without question, things that impacts how, how, uh, how well you perform in historic formats is exactly do you go first. Because going first is not like an 80% chance win ratio in historic formats. It, it's like a 99% uh, win ratio in historic format. So you kind of have to deal with that. Also, squeaky chair noises. Dude, what kind of dick are you? I think I'm going to get ratted here. Uh, which is bad. Oh, wait. No, are you... No, what are you even? Um, I'm not sure what the hell this guy is supposed to be. Okay, if he doesn't get rid of this and I draw a land, I can actually play the Defiler. If I play the Defiler, I get a Hinge for free and then we're just swooping in. Oh! Well, there goes my hinge Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's not, not funny. Wait, you keep... Non... Oh, wait. Non-land card. Maybe he actually goes for it. Because what ha... Wait. Would he go for a Thought Seizure if he did not have a... 
Okay, so this is one thing I want I want to actually uh, figure out. I wonder if there's a study, a a, a psycholo a psychology study about this uh, sort of stuff. If you don't have a thought seizure in the opening hand and you suddenly get it on turn three, do oh no, this guy definitely doesn't have a third land. Yeah, there there's no way uh, because. So this is a psychological thing, as always, boys, because you know I like this stuff. Uh, it is essentially the principle. This must be Hinge, by the way, because he eliminated draw. The thing, uh, the, the psychological thing here is we do things based on priority. We do things based on necessity, need, priority, and ins uh, an insta an instant and instances without thinking. So, one thought seizure, there's a chance uh, that uh, there's a chance he cast it instantaneously just because he didn't have a say, uh, that just uh, just because he didn't uh, drew a uh, be so in the middle. Of so, this is how it should technically go. And this is why we as humans are predictable. He has a second land, he plays it, but since he didn't do a thought seizure when he had the mana there, he was waiting for some uh, for some stupid reason. So, the moment, uh, the moment if he has a third land, the moment he draws a thought seizure, he should theoretically instantaneously without uh, without question play it, because uh, that's a thing that just happened and that's supposed to be his early game. So he's kind of instantaneously happy and he plays it. So he just drew a land. Okay, this is how you can predict your opponent's plays. Ba uh, if you want to know how many lands they have and things like that. Because it does show on a subconscious level. The way you do things. Oh, that's big. Oh yeah, that's big. I like big things. <laughs> if you know it, please give me something huge. Yeah, that's 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 pretty okay, Chief. That that's pretty okay. That's gonna be a lot of value, my dude. Sure, let's do it like this. Okay, now I can just uh, swing it and wing it because I have enough mana for this, right? Yeah. And by the way, giving an ability like that to an elf that costs seven, and when we could convert seven mana into elf mana, that's roughly the equivalent of, uh, let's see. Ah, yes, zero. Not good. <laughs> not gonna lie. Not good. Not good at all. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna play this because it's just 100% uh, uh, necessary at this point. Maybe we can get. Oh. Damn, son. We have so many. We just, we just, we just get. Uh, we, we just got the sauce. And no, we're not attacking with these. I'm not gonna do the mana. I'm just gonna destroy him. Flex, flex, flex your muscles, boys. This is how it is. Uh, and by the way, then he drew two lands. So yeah. Uh, a, a, a cute little thing that you can actually do. I, I think I horribly explained it. But you can predict how many lands a person has in their hand. If you think they're a control deck. And will they be able to rat you. So you can uh, take more aggressive plays. Or less aggressive plays. Based on the way they t play things like Thought Seizure or lands. Depending on the draw. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of a neat thing. And I'm really interested. Has anyone done an actual uh, study on this? How people do these things. Because this should be like an obvious thing in the world of psychology. Also, dude, you're completely boned. You can block whatever the hell you want. I'm still absolutely ripping you. Yeah, he's trying to survive. He's definitely trying to survive. But the question is, can you? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, seven mana in elf mana means literally nothing, my dude. It is what it is. Another one land opener opponent goes first. Uh, oh my. I wanted to start recording while I was searching for a game. To exactly express that I think it's gonna be another one land opener. Oh my god, wizards. 
Opponent goes first, one land opening, nothing to play. I think I'm gonna get the second land hit. Dude, there's no sh- Are you like sh- Is this the same- Dude, there's no way. D drop a clover. Oh my god, he actually has- This is the same- Well, okay, we got the land, so I guess we can't really call it the exact same, but- this is the same crap that happened last game. Only difference is that time he played the Cloven and then he played the e e Edwin. Oh, and th that guy did not have- Oh my- Dude! 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 This is crazy! This is the exact same play. This is the exact same- Bony boy. Bony boy the incubation. Oh no, Love Strike. Well, also, we saw Love Strike Beast, so I guess that's not really special. Oh my god. Okay, that's that's theoretically useful. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 2. Oh, I actually can do some pre, uh, some pre pizzazz moves right here. Okay, let's see. I, I think he's gonna bony boy these two. Dude, if that happens, that is the exact thing that happened two games ago. Pl oh, no, this is different. Okay, I, if, I guess if he draws a Bony Boy from that, it's not gonna matter. Bony Boys are the Bone Crusher Giants, by the way. Everything that involves the word Bone it is a Bony Boy in my book. <laughs> okay, he didn't do anything. He Boys... Get, get your gaming chairs ready, get your dual sp spirits out and about. Boys, we're going in. I don't think he had. No, he, wait, he could have the uh, the giant removal. But he doesn't have white, so maybe he doesn't. Okay, so. What is the correct course of action here? Is it, la uh, is it Elvish of War Moister? I think it is. I think it is, boys. Can I? No, I can't. I, I, no, wait, I can, yeah, I can, I can still play this and then play that. This is gonna be absolutely fire. Oh, no, my, oh my god, I can play the Parixi and the Filer. Oh, it's all going according. Three lands, boys. Three lands, and this is how it's, uh, how it's going. Oh, the destruction. Oh, you're, you're gonna play a Bane Slay? No one cares the giant, my dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can hear the buzz saw. <laughs> Shit. Okay, well, well, you know, it, it is what it is. It's life. Obviously, do this. Uh, maybe you can't. Again, I'm not sure. I need, to, I need to hear it in the comments. Can you hear that buzz saw sound? By the way, nothing I can do about it. It's my neighbors, so you know, it is what it is. L I'll, I'll li live your life. I'll live your lives, my boys. And by the way, yes, if anyone's wondering, ho ho, is this gonna be huge? I mean, like, look at this. Oh, we got it. We actually got it. So the funny part about this is even the Pyrex, even the great Henju actually g g gives us a charge. It's just despicable. It's just ridiculous. Look at this. I'm gonna wait until the buzz signs. We haven't, by the way, even used my. Oh my god! We can go so big, it's not even funny. Okay, screw it, Marvin. Let, let's go. Look at this, man. Look, look at this. Oh my god, I can actually, dude. Maybe I get a sick in the file. That would be pretty funny. Okay, let's let's go deep. Let, let's go deep, boys. Oh yeah, they 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 no regrets. No regrets, the movie, the game, the everything. Pyrexi, oh my... Bruh, this is, this is what I'm talking about, you know? The, the, this is, this is, this is how it be. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, the Klein, and yeah, the draw is, as you can see, is literally off the goddamn charts. <laughs> oh no, the draw is like, yeah, literally off the goddamn charts. Okay, time to attack. He needs to block, but he has nothing that deals with this situation. Unless he magically miracle kills me. But you know what? If that happens, I I'm I'm fine with it. 
There's also a small chance that our enemy has some kind of pushback that they misplayed and they didn't use our incubation grandmas because this is now 24 draws. Yeah, this, no, this is 20, yeah, 24 draws in. This is 24 draws in and I only have four lands. So you know how currently stingy they are. Seriously, you're gonna actually go for that, Mike. Wait, did you even block everything? And by the way, if you're thinking you could have probably won by uh, non -tap not tapping these things, yes. Yes. I know. And this is why we were playing the... Seriously? Three Edwards? Yeah, that's not gonna help. I'm not gonna lie, Chief. That's actually, like, not, not gonna make a difference. <laughs> Funny. But this is why we... Uh, this is why at the very, very beginning of the deck... I was rolling with that card. Again, Savagery? Pay eggs green. If you pay more than 10, uh, everything you has gets haste, so tapped creatures can attack. Wait, what did you... Did you what, mate? I guess cute, but at the end of the day, do you really think that's gonna save you? <laughs> do you really think that's gonna save you? Because, you know... Uh, I, I have a strong suspicion you're not gonna have enough sauce here, my dude. But yeah, look at this. Imagine that last guy if he didn't have everything perfectly against us. Oh yeah, absolutely disgusting. It is what it is, boys. It is what it is. And I know you love it. I, I, I know you filthy, disgusting people love this. You love to see it. The elf engine, the ultra pyrexian elf engine. But yeah, this card is like literally designed for elf decks. It's kind of insane. Because you don't really have anything else. Uh, technically, you can still uh, use Endraiser. But Endraiser is like Endraiser. I don't know if I want to use Endraisers. If you want to use Endraisers, go ahead and use Endraisers. I, I will use different things, you know? Oh, look at that! Another go second. But this is a really good hand. The Henge, the Defiler, admittedly we're against someone who's called the Goblin. And by the way, currently I have not played against a single Goblin deck. Which I find kind of... Well, not... Uh, obviously something that discards something. Because why else would you pay uh, a life for the uh, Shockland? Uh, but yeah, currently... Currently, Boyo... I haven't seen anyone play goblins. And honestly, you know what? I kind of find that a little bit... Animal. I kind of find that a little bit strange, and I'm not gonna lie. I do find it a little bit peculiar. Peculious. Because goblins kind of have a lot going for them, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe I'm mistaken. As long as they have either... Uh, the big goblin chief, G um, Grixis, Goxis, whatever his stupid name was, or Kranko, the, the one that's... Seriously? Well, I guess I shouldn't expect anything else from uh, this game, but, you know, like, damn. Two cutdowns. Uh, uh, do, go first, do rest in the two cutdowns. How about the third one, you know? Just, just, may, just make it a circle or something. Uh, no, a triangle. What a time to be alive. Now, yeah, Mythic Massacre, you know what? Good enough. Admittedly, it, it all... Oh, jeez. Skip. I don't know if I can win this. He just perfectly controlled us, and... Okay. If, the, if this survives, we're peachy. Because we can just uh, play the... It survived, actually. But he just drew, uh, used Faithful. Okay. So, ooh, wait, he he ditched Doom Foretold? That's insane. Uh, he has another Doom Foretold in the hand. That just means shit. Oof. Wait, how did Doom Foretold go? Uh, sacrifice non-token. Damn it. I forgot the Doom Foretold allow you to sacrifice tokens. Bruh! I'm sorry, are we for real real here? Or are we just like playing player? Because that, that, that did not look good, you know? 
That that did not look peachy. That did that did not look smooth criminal. Dude, seriously, you just did why? <laughs> What's the point? Why would you use the dance to just to just, you know, doom foretold it back? It makes so little sense. And don't tell me you drew actually a single removal. That would be just ass. Oh no, he just he did better. <laughs> he 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 won up. Oh no, this guy has everything. Shit. Man, we had a chance. We had a chance, but no, he obviously drew uh, drew really really good. Oh, and yes, by the way, uh. What I am, a lot of people are probably thinking, wait, that's a misplay that you are trying to, uh, that you are not just letting do uh, Doom foretold, uh, take over and just give him a, a card and create a two two. If I let that happen, I pretty much lose, because this is historic. Uh, he has most likely enough things to ruin me and stall out the game enough so he survives long enough. Jesus Christ, even the uh, Citadel, huh? He, he has enough things. Jeez Christ. He has enough things. Essentially, if I just give him opportunities to draw more cards, he's going to win. 100%. He, it's his win. If he if I, if I let him draw cards, he wins. There's not even a contest about it, okay? But as long as I kind of prevent him from drawing cards, even that means that I, I go less aggro, there's a bigger chance that I win. Admittedly, at this point, I don't, don't think it honestly matters, considering how lucky he was with all the removals and all the everythings. And, yeah, this is the best I can probably sadly do. Unless we draw in something really, really amazing here. We're not gonna have enough. He can, uh, he can... He can sag this. Wait, he didn't sa uh, sack the omen, which means he got something good. Another thing, I'm assuming it's a dance, considering he just didn't even sack the omen. Okay, out of Kaya, big. Well, actually, not that big. Actually, not that big at all. Yeah, yeah, pr pretty small, considering everything. And... You know what? We actually have a strange chance of winning here. Which is amazing, not gonna lie. Like, what the actual F? Also, buzzsaw the return. Okay, I really need to know if you boys can hear the buzzsaw. I kind of see on OBS the volume. Yeah, this is what you should have done last turn, idiot. So that's 100%. Oh, he got the rat? What could you pass? It can only be a draw card, or it, it must be a removal. But if it's a single target removal, like, for example, Doom Foretold, he loses. Oh. Yeah, you know, that's that's absolutely fine. Okay, this does nothing, at least. Uh, he technically could potentially be Omega uh, Lucky Boy, and... Well, yeah, again, there w I don't think we had a chance of victory. Because, it, well, you, you kind of know because why. Can't have too many wins and, you know, yeah, this. Uh, it's double. We, we, we literally draw nothing that caught. He literally had always a solution to any, everything that we did. That is just, that, that is just for, uh, for cello, lozello. It is what it is. Well, I guess this is fine. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sidson. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out the Discord. Check out everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.